Hey, welcome. Welcome to Kranti's kitchen. She doesn't know I'm in her kitchen, so watch out. Uh, this is a basically kitchen in use, so this we have not cleaned it up for the uh, video. But I wanted to show actual kitchen in use for people who are coming to America for the very first time, especially those uh, spouses who love to get cook in the kitchen. And so I wanted to first go through the structure of the kitchen, so people are familiar with what they run into. This, for example, is what I would call a mid-size uh, kitchen with uh, um, slightly uh, above average facilities and so you uh, when you come into a, a brand new apartment when you're taking a, a studio or uh, renting a small uh, uh, extended stay apartment you may not get this much uh, uh, amenities but uh, at least you'll get an idea of what a kitchen would be and how you might want to use it in the future i just want to give you a, a feel for it so let me walk you through the kitchen and its facilities and you see for yourself First of all, I would like you to appreciate the openness of the kitchen. This is kind of different from how we have kitchens in India. So, a kitchen is fairly open, so that means that when we have guests, uh, the smell of food will go this side, the cleanliness of kitchen is very visible to people, and people will be actually seeing what you're doing. And so, kitchen becomes part of the living experience. It's not something that some auntie G does in the side, and somebody who's working in the background, who's outside the party or the guest environment. This integrates the family and brings it together. That's why the open kitchen is there. But of course, the issue is the smell. The food smells and it will come into the living room. It will smell the carpet. It will smell the uh, curtains. So you have to watch out for the odor that we have in the kitchen. But anyway, let me start off with the tour of the kitchen. And uh, I'll go very uh, basic things. I just want you to feel it. So that's the reason why I'll cover the basic topics. First, I want you to look at the refrigerator. Now look at this refrigerator. If I look at my own refrigerator in India, it's quite small compared to this. This is fairly large and this is by no means the largest refrigerator we tend to see here. This is kind of average refrigerator size for uh, household kitchens. They come in larger, larger sizes. Sometimes they're double the width. Notice the, uh, the kind of water and uh, you know, the, what do you call, aqua guard type facility here, water purification. There's a freezer section. Usually in Indian fridge, the freezers are small, but in uh, US fridges, we have larger freezer section and this is to put a lot of the food that we cook in advance or food that we want to preserve for a longer duration uh, especially Indian food um, the other side of the kitchen which is the normal uh, normal refrigerator you'll notice a great uh, healthy section for putting small bottles and uh, small um, um, garnishings and small uh, uh, cooking material and you'll also see heavy heavy uh, uh, shelves and uh, these shelves are designed for larger food, food items. For example, look at the yogurt size. You know, this is not the kind of average yogurt I'll get at the Vijaya Dairy Farm in India. This is fairly large. Same with milk. Milk is in gallons, not liters. And so, when you see these kind of things, you need a larger refrigerator. Everything in the US you will find is very large and that's exactly what we're seeing here. And even drinking, you can look at that. That's a small Coke and it's fairly large size Coke here. Butter. Uh, different things but I want you to get familiar with the kitchen kitchen is also a social place because most of the time in, in US households we have these uh, people putting up stickers pictures and and showing their uh, life story here so when people come in it's a great environment for people to socialize the other aspect which is quite common in uh, US households is putting the uh, cereals the processed food on top and so when people want breakfast in the morning they come here pick one of the cereal boxes Put some, some in a bowl, which we'll show later how this morning breakfast is made. Uh, quick, dirty, fast. Um, let's now look at the shelves. There are plenty of shelves in this kitchen. This is quite common. Uh, the shelves, uh, I found that some of the households in India have open uh, shelves. Here they have very closed shelves. And notice that the shelves are packed with utensils and, uh, and appliances. And we have drawers with uh, uh, kind of multiple spoons and that sort of thing. So this, this is how it's, it's uh, done and uh, I would like you to just sort of get a feel for what kind of shelf stuff we have and these are shelves for of course plates, uh, plates and, uh, and glasses but we also have shelves for pantry you know where we have food, food items, food items are stored and then you have plenty of uh, items to keep in the kitchen for future use so pantries look like this. Uh, this is excellent for ladies and cooks who love to uh, keep things in preserve and they love to do things on their own. 
Um, now, now, the other items I want to show you, first the stove. Now, this is the cooking range concept. Typically, you have gas stoves and electric stoves. This here particular stove is an electrical stove. And uh, so there is no lighting of the match. There is no none of that stuff even in a gas stove. Uh, of course, in an electric stove, you don't have these things. But uh, these are very common things. And uh, uh, cleanliness of the uh, stove is very important. Uh, as you can see, Kranti has kept the stove very clean. But uh, uh, in, in uh, apartments, this is something that uh, uh, the bachelors or single people, when they come in, they forget that maintenance of the kitchen is very important. And stove is a very integral part of that health and hygiene. And uh, one, of the, one of the things that we, I, I try to emphasize is that, you know, when we cook, a lot of the sabji, the sambar, the channa and all these things, they, they spill over and the white surface is actually dirty. And so every night, it's kind of a routine that people go through. They clean this and, and they in fact take out the coils. I think in this one we can take out a coil. We pull out a coil like this and then, and then you, you sort of, uh, so you can actually see this coil has come out. And then you sort of clean this place with uh, with items. So that's how you maintain it. Um, the other element of a stove that is important is the overhead uh, exhaust fan. And typically there's some buttons, you press the buttons and with the exhaust fan you take away the fumes. When you're living in a small apartment, the uh, smell, the cooking, the aroma, the odor is, is very important because it sticks to clothes, it sticks to the hair. And people in America are very sensitive to this. So what we tend to do is we turn on the uh, exhaust fan and take the smell out. But it also has a side effect which I'll explain later in the food section. Um, let's continue. Uh, oven, which is again another very important uh, cooking uh, item in this uh, uh, American kitchens. Um, it's fairly easy to use, but I think uh, uh, our cooks in India would love it. We can make cakes, cookies, a uh, lot of nice products. Um, uh, Indian households tend to also have some small items like rice cooker. And of course, this is very handy for those single people who are coming for a short visit because you can actually throw in rice, put the cover, put the water and turn it on and then voila, food is ready in, in about 20 minutes. Uh, food processors, uh, these are used, can openers are used, blenders are used. These are very many electrical appliances that you will tend to have. In fact, in this kitchen, I see at least three to four blenders that we have. So it's a variety of uh, appliances that we tend to use. Uh, for breakfast, this toaster is a common thing toaster oven where we make the pizza, bagels and other products. So these are again very commonly used. Uh, another commonly used appliance in the kitchen is the microwave oven which is fairly common. I think in India also we have plenty of these microwave ovens. It's a very often used, frequently used item and I think you should be having it in the apartment complex as well. So those are the basic things in this side. Uh, other things that I want to show you is about the cleanliness. Notice how the for hygiene purposes we have here in a highland of uh, you know cleaning items here which is separate from the cooking so there's a bit of hygiene uh, uh, focus in the kitchen as well um, usually what happens is the kitchen sinks which are different from the bathroom sinks are kind of deep and they're kind of divided which you'll notice on this side so the utensils the dirty utensils are put here and and uh, of course you have access to hot water in this case the red hot water and also the cold water and single operation and these type of devices which help us kind of you know, clean uh, dishes very easily. It's very convenient for, for people who are doing the cooking. The soap is also part of the kind of kitchen sink design. But the whole point is that you, you wash the dishes and, and you put the dishes here. And uh, in this case, what we have is uh, when we wash, sometimes some channa, sometimes some food, some curry gets left over and gets stuck in the, in the kitchen sinks. So the American kitchen design is very interesting. It actually has a, I don't know if you can see it here. Yeah, it, it actually has a trash uh, uh, disposal here. So what it does is, uh, when when we uh, when we wash and uh, cook and clean, the food gets clogged up, the water gets clogged up, and there's a little switch here. You see this switch, and then you turn on the switch, and boom, the noise comes, and it actually it does this. Let's see if we can try this. If it works a little bit, just to hear the noise. Oh, ah, see. So the machine is actually chewing up all the uh, food. So suppose I'm done washing dishes here and there's a lot of food that's uh, drained and kept here. This food now gets inside and then when I do this, it chews it all up, dilutes it and takes it into the drainage system. So that's one very compact thing. Uh, so these are kind of the facilities we have. Uh, there's a dishwasher and this is another uh, kind of unique uh, 
thing in the US. Uh, a lot of the cooks from India would love to see these things. The dishwasher, of course, uh, washes the dishes. It's uh, uh, no hassle. Uh, usually you're done with uh, cooking, you take the dirty dishes, you put it in here and then you put a little soap uh, in, in the soap container and then once you put the soap container and click it and uh, I don't know if you can see this inside, there's a little uh, water router system it sort of spins and, and it sprays the water and once it's done cleaning the vessel is fairly, fairly clean. I think these are the dirty dishes we're putting in and so it cleans this, this whole thing and puts it back. And so this is a very convenient way. Usually what people do is they put the, they uh, cook in the daytime and by evening they clean up the basic facilities, load, load up the uh, dishwasher with all kinds of utensils and soap, turn it on and close the kitchen for the night. And when you get up in the morning you have a nice clean airy kitchen. So that's, that's how a kitchen is structured and maintained in the US. I hope you like it. I think when you come from India you'll find this kitchen to be very inviting and uh, kind of getting you involved in the cooking process and I think uh, you should not be worried about it. Few things to watch out, uh, the pressure cooker, I just showed you a vessel downstairs. The pressure cooker is something that we don't usually find here in American households. Uh, I recommend people who are coming from India to bring their own pressure cooker. This again is an Indian model that has come here. Of course you can buy one here, they are very good quality but they are also expensive. So uh, the pressure cooker is something that I uh, think that you uh, new cooks to America would like to bring little uh, uh, rice and these kind of uh, groceries of course you can purchase here I'll show that in a different video rest of the items kitchen utensils knives uh, stirring items even uh, vegetables and other things that are of course uh, abundantly available very good quality low price so you will not have any problem it's just the rice cooker that you may want to think about all right uh, maybe even some masalas masalas also would be something good but other than that this kitchen is very uh, inviting and I think you'll have a good time cooking here. I wish you all the best. Bye-bye.